pinball is not just about reaction time. There's a there's a lot of skills that go into it. There's three parts of pinball that you, you kind of have to know to master it. Okay. Uh, one of them's aim, one of them's ball control, and one of them is nudging. Nudging is okay. the actual like moving around the machine. Um, okay. So it's a game of physics, so you can use that to your advantage. And the games are actually designed to be nudged. Um, I can show you that later. There's a little tilt bob in there moving around. That's really interesting. I did not know that. Yeah. So, uh, and the other thing that's surprising about these games is they're really deep. They have really um, pretty thorough rule sets. Um, okay. Many, many levels. And some of these games take like like 20 minutes to actually get all the way through the game. And I can't do that myself. <laughs> uh, but for now, I'm going to show you a couple things, and that's ball control. Okay. So there's a lot of things in football, like these pop bumpers going off right now, that are introducing chaos into the system, and your goal is to regain control. So that was a series of dead passes where you ball's coming down, it's going to hit the flipper, and you just don't do anything. You let it hit the flipper, and it bounces around, and it absorbs a lot of the energy, uh, which allows you to then cradle the ball. So that, that's a little nudge, and a little cradle. All right, it's asking me to hit this shot over here, which is a scoop, which is almost behind the flipper. Okay. But you can do something called the backhand. So this is the aiming part of it, where I'm going to let the flipper down, and then pretty immediately flip again okay. to shoot almost backwards. Ah, almost. I can transfer the ball from one side to the other doing what's called a post pass. Let's try that post pass again. All right, post pass. And oh. And then let's do the backhand. Masterful. Yeah, the backhand. <laughs> That's so good. Try and shoot something. So that's a dead pass. And then it's wanting me to hit that crane. Okay. Alright. So let me try and make control the ball here. Alright, crane. Oh! That was a live catch. Live catch is where you you flip up to meet the ball, okay. and the momentum of the ball and the flipper kind of cancel each other out. Okay. That's very technical. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's, I, I'm kind of a middle of the pack as far as my skill set, and there's some people out there who have amazing skills, and it's watching them is, it's what they do is kind of beautiful. They they're doing all these little subtle touches and little maneuvers and just making the pinball do whatever it is they want. It's amazing. All right, so I'm not sure I can hit that ball. Almost. Oh. Ah. And that went down the middle. So, uh, you know, another part of the game is nudging. If you look down in here, this guy right here, there's a little guy on a weight swinging around and when you move the machine that weight gets to move it around oh, yeah. and if it moves around enough it hits a little ring contacts it closes a circuit and then you get a little warning so you're allowed two warnings and on the third time it takes your ball from you really so you can nudge the machine quite a bit um, on the screen it'll say warning so there well now it's saying <laughs> and now it's saying yeah. Wow. So it took away my ball. But you can move the machine quite a bit. It takes away your you ball, control. meaning it doesn't let you control it. Yeah, it kills the flippers. Okay. So if the ball is heading to the out lanes or heading down the center, there's all kinds of things you can do. Elizabeth is really good at doing center saves, where the ball's coming right down the center. You move the whole machine, you slide the machine, 
you effectively move the flipper to the ball itself okay. to intercept it and save it. And I'm not as good at doing it as she is. It's not about physical strength, it's about leverage. Oh. <laughs> All right, so let's. Okay, so in this game, we need to start a villain mode. Oh, what's villain mode? So, this game, Batman has these three major villains. Catwoman, the Joker, Penguin, and Riddler. So... Alright, now it wants me to hit this. Hey! So my goal is just to hit that card. Nice. That was a dead pass. Ooh. I could start a multi ball here. Multi-ball meaning there's another ball that's going to drop? Yeah. And you're playing with both? Yeah. Every game has multi-balls. It's a multi-ball mode. Okay. But it's going to take me a second. How do you activate that? So this right over, over here. You see where it says lock? One, uh -huh. two, three. So you need to lock balls. So I'm going to try and lock. A little short. There we go. That's two, and I just need one more. There nice. It is. So now we get multi ball. Okay. Every game has a multi ball, you always want to do a multi ball. You get super jackpots and jackpots. It's it's just a lot of fun. Oh, oh, whoa. So it's all three balls at the same time. Oh my god, that's so intense. <laughs> yeah. And so all those skills I was talking about, you now need to do with multiple balls at the same time. That is very intense. So I got to do some dead passing. I got to do some aiming. Wow. See? Still create a lot. One of these shots is a jackpot. Wait, now there's four. Are there four? Yeah, there are no balls. We added a ball. Oh my god. <laughs> so Ball. That's so cool. And if you are a member of the program, <laughs> yeah. you get, you actually get a lesson from Christian himself. Yeah, the master. I even have a handout. You have a handout? <laughs> yeah, I have a pinball class handout. Hit it. Yeah. Can we uh, see one? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> All right, let me go grab it. You want to take over? Uh, I can try. Yeah, keep it going, Alex. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Ah! <laughs> that took about two and a half seconds. 